So today I wanted to make a follow-up tip and trick video about boundary fit surfacing. Um, so it is the long lost tool um, that people forget about in our software. And I highlighted it the other day in a video. And today what I wanted to do is just highlight a couple little uh, gotchas in the software is I guess a way to put it. Um, when you're doing a boundary fit, the key to getting all the surfaces to fit right is to have four-sided patches. And in order to have those four-sided patches, the thing you need to do is make sure that your curve network is nice and clean. So I just wanted to give uh, a few tips and tricks on how to get that. Um, so if you come over to Mesh 3D Mesh Sketch and come in and just grab your spline on mesh. Now we're going to do one of the fingers. I can do the entire thing, but it's just going to take a little while of uh, drawing out the patches. But I, I, one finger should be able to show kind of all the things that I need to show. But what we're going to do here is I'm going to draw a curve and then make a separate curve for the front side of the finger and then the side of the finger. So you see what I'm doing is I'm putting a square patch right on top. It's kind of like a guide there. So that's what we're going to do. And then you'll see that if it's a bounded patch, that it will become orange. And then you see I can draw all the way down the side like that. And you can just draw the patch network out. And I'm going to use the other other curve as a guide how far to go, how far down to go. So you see there, I drew those. And so it's important to attack with a strategy, at least somewhat, so you kind of have a plan of how you're going to draw out your curve network on the surface, maintaining uh, four-sided patches. Like that. So I can fit surfaces this way, but we want more resolution in here. So we're gonna create extra surfaces. One way to do that is to come over here and uh, add sections like that. When I hit OK, you'll see that it created curves. Now here is one trick that you're going to notice. I created a curve that's a continuous curve around and then a curve vertical, but they're not intersecting each other. So if I just do a Control A and come over to Intersection, now you'll see it'll add endpoints at each of these. Now here's another problem that I always do. This is just another thing. If you see a blue line like this, it means it's not bounded. And this ha happens when you're drawing stuff out quick like this. So, you know, I can delete this or I could just pick it up and drag it onto a node. But this is another major problem that people run into is they don't have all of the boundaries closed like so. And there are instances I've run into where doing the intersect might be a problem. So sometimes actually we'll go ahead and I will do a split. And I will split the curves and even delete and redraw them if I have major issues with these, right? So if I had an issue here and it didn't split at the nodes and I had a, a problem, then I can come over and manually split and say split by this curve to that one or redraw it to make sure that I have a nice network here. And then if I were going to do this whole thing, I would move to the next finger, next finger, next finger. But after I do each finger, I actually go into the tool. It's almost like a way of error checking come into boundary fit, even though I'm going to boundary fit the whole hand. If I come in and I see that it highlights all of the patches, then this is a nice clean patch network. Even if I'm not ready to fit, I can just close out, go to the next finger, come into boundary fit. You see it will do it again just to use this to check 
and make sure that I have a nice boundary fit. So if I have that and it looks good, again, my two major problems are making sure that the network is uh, have all closed curves. Um, and then now I can go ahead and tell it to fit it. So once it's done fitting these, we can go ahead and turn the mesh off and you see there's my surface. And if I needed this to be a solid, it's very easy to come over and say, hey, let's do a fill face here on the end. And now we have a solid. And once you have that solid, just to give you an idea, this It's going to draw a rectangle here. Both directions, just to show you that this is a, a solid body that you can bully in a way stuff from, right? So if I wanted to say I want to cut I can say this is a tool body, cut it away from this body, and there we go, we cut it away. So that is how I would go about creating this guy right here, but I would just do it for the entire network and make sure to draw a nice clean four-sided network for the whole thing the next step is to kind of like join these to the other fingers and then join them to the rest of the arm and then error check it by going into the tool so this has been my little extra tip and trick on boundary fit surfacing